Hello, doctor. Hello, Caroline. What happened? You don't look so good today. I don't know. I'm having several health issues. What kind of problems? I don't know, doctor. I'm having so much acne all over my face. Then there is my menses are irregular. And there is so much hair growth all over my face and chin. I feel so tired all the day. And there is increase in my weight all of a sudden. Because of body shaming and all, I feel so depressed. And sometimes stomach ache. Looking at the symptoms, you guys must have got a guess of the topic that we are going to learn today in this video. PCOD or PCOS is the most common disorder in women occurring at their reproductive ages. Polycystic ovarian disease in which poly refers to many, cystic refers to cyst like and ovarian refers to ovary. So there are multiple cysts present in the ovary resulting in polycystic ovarian disease. Now let's first talk about the normal hormonal cycle. In female, the hypothalamus stimulates the pituitary to release gonadotropic releasing hormones like LH responsible for ovulation and FSH which is mainly responsible for the follicular maturation. These two together act on the ovaries. After ovulation, the corpus luteum present in the ovary result, uh, releases hormones like estrogen and progesterone which causes a decrease in the gonadotropic releasing hormone for the maintaining their secretions. In PCOS, during LH search, there is no liberation of ovum resulting in an ovulatory cycle, thus no formation of corpus luteum. Hence, ovary does not secrete progesterone which does not decrease the gonadotropic releasing level, thus causing more and more increase in the LH level which causes Increase LH frequency and LH sensitivity and decrease FSH level. This decrease FSH level results in the decreased maturation of the graphene follicles, oligo or anovulatory cycles and cyst formation in the ovaries. Uh, talking about the other pathogenesis involved, Due to insul increased insulin secretion from the pancreas, it stimulates the theca cells of the ovary causing increased androgen production or hyperandrogenemia which results in a negative feedback on the hypothalamus causing increased hormonal imbalance which may lead to ovulatory difficulty, insulin sensitivity and making the person insulin resistance which further stimulates the theca cells of the ovary causing more increase in the androgen production. Now, talking about the pathology involved is the ovaries are enlarged, the volume is more than 10 cm cube, the stroma is increased, the capsule is thickened and poly white in color and there is multiple follicular cysts of more than 2 to 9 mm in diameter. The histology, the tunica albuginea is thickened. The stromal hypothecosis or theca cell hypertrophy. The cyst of the follicles of varying stages of maturation and atresia is present. The signs and symptoms involved are due to obesity, there is insulin resistance. The hyperandrogenesis, there is acne. Hirsutism, also known as male pattern growth, and there may be hair fall or increased acne, and there is dysfunctional menstruation, oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea, there is also body shaming anxiety. Diagnosis to investigate, you can do a transvaginal 
sonography which may result in increased number of peripheral arranged follicles of more than 2 to 9 mm in diameter per ovary of more than 20 follicles each. BMI, BP and waist circumference to check the weight, serum levels of LH, FSH, total testosterone, TSH, prolactin, DHES and 17 OHP from which LH and FSH to check their secretion, prolactin, DHES to ch which acts on the ovaries causing more androgen release and increase 17 o uh, OHP which causes a congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Two hours of glucose tolerance test to check the severe insulin resistance and lipid profile if there is increased insulin that may be high triglycerides level. Laparoscopy which may give a bilateral polycystic ovarian picture. Management To manage PCOD first we have to manage the weight of the person. This can be achieved by either exercising or managing the diet of the person which may help us to manage the menstrual symptoms and hyperandrogenemia which results in hirsutism and acne can be maintained by giving a combined oral contraceptive. This acts on the suppresses the LH and estrogen improves the SHBG causing a decrease in the hirsutism and acne. Hyperinsulinemia by maintaining the insulin level and diet by decreasing the junk food and fatty